and we deployed equipment and personnel uh, two days after the incident. Six robots developed by a Waltham High Tech firm have been sent to Japan to work in areas of the nuclear reactors at Fukushima that are too dangerous for humans to enter. With the robot that we were just uh, demonstrating, the sensors that are on board allows hazmat teams to go into unknown areas with unknown contamination and establish and whether the levels are safe for, for personnel to enter. Last week at a demonstration in front of Japanese media, officials from Kinetic on 2nd Ave showed off the capabilities of machines that have been sent to help in the wake of a devastating earthquake last month that has claimed more than 11,000 lives. We're, we're working with TEPCO, who are the uh, plant operators for the nuclear plant that uh, has the problems, and uh, we are training them actively right now in Japan with our equipment so they can take it in and use it as they see appropriate. The bigger robot is called Talon, and its smaller cousin is the Dragon Runner. Equipped with rugged tread, cameras, and other sensors, they navigate stairs and cramped spaces and can lift and drag heavy loads. One version of the Talon, the Sea Talon, is even at home underwater. Although the robots were at ground zero after the World Trade Center attacks, their primary purpose has been defusing IEDs and other explosive devices in Iraq and Afghanistan. Talon is our uh, robot that has now been deployed overseas. We've delivered over 3,000 robots for explosive ordnance disposal and uh, route clearance missions. Uh, we've been in Iraq and Afghanistan since the beginning of the war. Also on hand for the demo was Waltham Fire, which got a glimpse of the future when a Talon robot held and moved a fire hose. The robots could be used to spray water on reactor cores in Japan to cool them and prevent meltdowns. When there's a danger of like a hazardous material situation that would uh, make a manned line very difficult to operate or impossible to operate. So what we want to be able to do here with the robot, you can see that you can send them into those situations. It would be hazardous immediately to the firefighters. And again, it was very, very effective using different kinds of lines. This is a, the back pan tilt camera. Part of Kinetic's appeal is how easy its state-of-the-art technology is to install and operate. The kit for outfitting a Bobcat for remote control use takes roughly 15 minutes to set up and the machine can return to manned operation with the flick of a switch. With their heavy lifting capacity, the Bobcats could move rubble caused by explosions inside the nuclear plant. Like the robots, they're equipped with a full ray of sensors. If those joysticks that control Kinetic's robots look familiar, it's probably because you have them in your TV room. The Xbox controllers are an ideal fit for enlisted explosives ordnance experts familiar with gaming. Kinetic is a defense contractor based in the UK with US headquarters in Virginia. In 2004, it bought the Waltham company Foster Miller, which designed robots for the US military. What we're most proud of at Kinetic North America is the fact that these machines are used all the time and save lives every single day. For Waltham Newswatch, this is Chris Wangler.